So, tasks are in place and we need some resources in this project to do the work. I'm Kristen from Vision 6D and let's start to do it. We have here an extract of the planning for the construction of a house. Two steps are going to interest us. The first one is obtaining the building permit and the second one is the construction of the basement with a first part which will be excavation and then the building of a concrete slab for the basement. I'm taking those tasks because they allow me to explain really well the different kind of resources we'll find in MS project. We have different kinds of resources and the MS project. The first one is work. A, a resource of type work is a human being. It can be a worker, a builder, a constructor. And we have also equipment. Equipments, they can be machines, they can be vans. So these are all the kinds of resources that you will count a certain rate per hour or per day. The second resource type is material. By material, we have a notion of price per unit or price per quantity. For example, in this project, when we are going to do the concrete stamp, we will have a certain volume, a certain quantity of concrete. For this, there will be a price per unit. The third resource is a resource of cost. It means that it has a final cost. It's not depending on the duration, nor is it depending on the quantity. In our case, we will request from an architect office to handle all the process of getting the build permit. For this, we are going to pay a flat rate. So in that sense, it's not a resource of work, nor is it a resource that we pay per quantity. It's really a flat rate. So for this, we have that kind of resource, which is of type cost. So now we are going to work with our resources. For this, I come here and I will select another diagram. So you see here more views and I will go and search for the resource sheet. I have already prepared different resources. You see here that we will need an architect, as I said, a builder and two additional workers. And I have already prepared this. You see here that MS project immediately sets the type of the resource to work. I show you here that we can have the different kinds of resources. So by default, it sets it to a work resource. In this column here, you see that it has summarized the name by an initial. And here you have a column in which it is said to which percentage this resource is able to work in the project. For here, we make it simple. Everyone is able to work 100%. You see here that you have a rate. So I'm doing like that. The builder is a hundred euros per hour and workers are 50 euros per hour. If you saw that it switched from Swiss francs to euros, it's that I noticed the difference and offline I did the change into the, the options. I don't have uh, any rate set for overtime. So I leave it as such. And this is it so far for that kind of resources. The case of the architect is a bit different. I'm going to come back to this later on. I'm now going back to the Gantt chart. And we see here for the moment with the resources, nothing has changed. So I will look into the building permit. You see that I have set here that first during two weeks we are going to prepare the request. That is to say more exactly, it will be the architect office that will prepare this. They will also do the request deposit for me. And after that, I have to pay a flat rate and then I will get a permit approval.
The other step that is also interesting me here, it's the construction of the basement in which we have first to do the excavation with some excavator or mechanical system to remove and move earth. And then we build the concrete slab. The rest of the work you see here, I do not detail it, but I have set it with 100 days of work. For here, the realization of the concrete slab, I will go move a bit on the right and see here a column which are resource names. By clicking here, you will see that we have all our available resources. For this, I'm saying that I need a builder and two workers. And we see that immediately here, it has come on the line and each resource, named resource, isn't here present. And you see also here on the diagram, on the Gantt diagram, you immediately have the list of the resources necessary for this task to be accomplished. So now to be able to do my basement, of course, workers and a builder are needed, but it's not enough. I will need machines to do the excavation and I will need concrete, a certain volume of concrete, and I will also need additional materials like concrete irons, for example. So if there are things that I need in order to do something, these are resources. So now I'm going back to the resource sheet. And I'm going to add a first resource. The first resource is going to be an excavator. As you see, MS Project has set it of type work. But of course, it could be a solution where you say your excavator, you pay a certain rate per hour. This could be a solution. In my case, I'm going to say no. I'm going to pay a flat rate for the two days that I'm going to use that excavator. So for this, since it's a flat rate, then it is a resource of type cost. And you see that immediately here, the possibility to give a price per hour has disappeared. Now, what I also need is to have concrete. And once again, Microsoft Project is proposing me the type work with a cost per hour, but you understand that for concrete, this cannot be done. So I will choose here the third kind, which is material. And you notice that the unit has disappeared, over time has disappeared, and there is here a price per unit. So the price per unit that I'm going to give here is about 200 euros for concrete delivered by truck on site. Now that I have defined those resources, we are going to the Gantt chart to see how to use them. We are now handling the excavation. And for this, here up, I'm coming. And you see that we have an excavator, which is possible. So I choose this resource here, and we have it, and it comes also on the diagram. The next point in which I'm interested, it's the concrete slab. We have here already defined, you see, builder and two workers. I'm going to handle this in a different way. By right clicking here, I can go into information for the task you see here. And here up, I have the possibility to go and select resources. You see here that I find the builder, the worker one and worker two. I will also show you here that there is a cost that was calculated according to the hourly rate of each resource and this multiplied by the number of hours. In our case, it's 16 hours since we said that this task is going to last two days and two days containing each eight hours. So I'm going here down, adding an additional resource. And we said that we need some concrete to, to do the work. 
And you see here, we don't have a price that is calculated, but we have here by default one unit. So that is to say that project is setting us on that kind of resource, a unit of one. In our case, what we are doing, it's a basement of about 80 square meters. And for this, we'll need 12 cubic meters of concrete. So I'm going to say here that I need 12 units. So now on the Ghent diagram, we see here that we have the concrete that has come with the number of units that are required, which are 12. If now I go back to the information once again about the concrete slab and I go into resources, you see here that since we closed the information and reopened it, MS Project has calculated the cost. So here, all in all, we see that there is a cost of 2,400 for the 12 units of concrete that were costed at 200 per unit. Now I'm going to add here an additional column. The one that interests me, it's the one about cost. And you see here that Microsoft automatically calculated the cost of each task. And specifically talking about the concrete slab one, we saw that if we sum up all the costs that we had in the information, we'll come to those 5,600 euros. For the excavation part, we see here the excavator and I'm going into the information as well. Into resources, we see excavator and you have here a column which is cost we are going to put directly the cost of the excavator for the two days. And what I propose is that we say it's 1,500 for one day, 3,000 for two days. And this is a flat rate. So I put it directly here into the cost column. And you see that since it is a cost resource, the cost has directly come here in bracket beside the name of the resource. We find it also here in the cost column and we find it here on the diagram directly beside the resource name, which is the excavator. By the way, here you see that on this line, which is a summary task summarizing all the other tasks, it's now summing up all the task costs here. So this makes those 8,600. So we can say that the construction for the moment costs 8,600. I already hear some remarks where we say, okay, it's a cost resource, but in the end it's twice 1,500. So it could also have been defined as a material resource with two units and each unit costing 1,500. This is right. It's where we have a certain liberty, a freedom to interpretation in our projects. And this is up to us or and is up to you. So now we have to go and look into that part which is the building permit. And this, there is a task here of two week, which is the request preparation. I need to go back to the resource sheet. And here you see that we have the architect. So we are going to say that the architect is going to do that task. For the moment, the architect here is defined as a work resource. In our case, the architect will make us a flat rate for all the work of the preparation of the permit request. So for this, I need here to change the resource from a work resource to a cost resource, since it's a flat rate. 
So this has been changed and you see that all the elements here have disappeared. So now I'm going back to the GAN chart. And in the GAN chart, I'm going to take, as we did now, the request preparation and I'm going into the information and resources where here we can attribute the architect to this task. And here in the column cost, since it's a flat rate, we are going to say that the architect is going to charge us 1,500 for this task. And now here on the line, you see that as we had it for the excavator, the architect is now defined as a cost resource for 1,500 and on the Ghent diagram part, you see it as well. With this going up here in the column cost, you see that on top here now we have 1,500 for the building permit with the detail of the cost that comes from the resource architect. And here up, interestingly, you see that we have an evolved cost of the total of the project at that time for 10,100. So that was it about the different kinds of resources. You can make me comments. I always appreciate and answer the, the comments. And you like the video, so thumb up. Hope to see you soon on the Vision 6D channel for other videos. Have a good time. Bye-bye.